Europe and Russia are to begin their journey to Mars next week in a mission designed to understand the red planet's atmosphere and look for signs of life. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter TGO, is set to blast off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan aboard a Proton rocket on March 14. And hopes are high the probe will find very strong evidence of alien life when it arrives at Mars on October 19. Just in time for blast off, a camera known as a Mars webcam has switched back on and released new images of the red planet. ExoMars is a joint endeavor between the European Space Agency ESA, and Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency comprising two craft, the TGO and the Schiaparelli landing demonstrator if all goes to plan, TGO will make a detailed inventory of Mars atmospheric gases, with particular interest in rare gases such as methane. The presence of methane implies there is an active, current source of activity on Mars. This is because methane breaks down in sunlight after a matter of a few hundred years, meaning any detected must have been made recently. The aim of ExoMars is to determine whether the gas is coming from a geological or biological source such as volcanoes or microbes, for example, in order to build on inconclusive readings taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. Concentrations of methane have been observed in 2003 and 2006 in three specific regions of Mars, Terra Sabi, Nili Fossae and Sirtis Major, and data suggest that water once flowed over these areas. Deep liquid water areas below the ice layer would be able to provide a habitat for microorganisms, or a favorable place for the hydrogeochemical production of methane. Meanwhile, Schiaparelli will demonstrate a range of technologies to enable a controlled landing on Mars, which will pave the way for a manned mission to Mars. After a seven-month cruise, the lander will separate from the TGO on October 16 and land on Mars on October 19. TGO will then enter orbit around Mars and will serve as a data relief for the second ExoMars mission, which will involve a rover and laboratory on Martian soil, planned for launch in 2018. ESA said the launch of ExoMars 2016 will mark the start of a new era of Mars exploration for Europe. Both Europe and Russia's fortunes have been mixed when it comes to Mars missions before, with ESA's Mars Express mission successfully putting a spacecraft into orbit in 2003 but its Beagle 2 lander failing to communicate with Earth. Russia's phobos Grunt mission suffered a failed launch and none of the Soviet Union's missions to Mars were successful, new scientists reported. Both space agencies hope to enjoy similar glory to NASA, whose most recent probe, MAVEN, is currently analyzing the planet's upper atmosphere. Last year, NASA announced data collected by the craft shows the loss of atmosphere to space probably played a role in Mars' gradual shift from its carbon dioxide-dominated atmosphere. This atmosphere kept Mars relatively warm and allowed the planet to support liquid surface water. It then shifted to the cold, arid planet we see today. Haken Svetim, ExoMars 2016 project scientist said TGO will give scientists a better idea of what is going on closer to the Martian surface. This is because the probe has more sensitive instruments able to detect molecules at a level of parts per trillion. Spectrometers will detect atmospheric gases, while a neutron detector will map water ice below the planet's rusty colored surface. If sulfur dioxide is detected as well as methane, it may point to the existence of a volcano, whereas higher levels of isotope carbon-12 alongside methane, could point to biological life of some form. If carbon-12 is detected, it would be very exciting, not 100% evidence, but it is very strong evidence that something biological has generated the isotope, Svetim told Wired. Bruce Tchaikovsky, who leads NASA's MAVEN mission said, detecting methane by itself doesn't tell you whether it is produced biologically or geologically, you need to look at the whole suite of atmospheric behavior. That would be considered the home run for TGO, to define the source of methane. However, any new data won't be shared until the end of next year at the earliest, because the probe has to spend a year decelerating so it can graze the atmosphere at a slow enough speed. Live streaming of the launch will begin on March 14 at 8.30 Greenwich Mean Time, 09.30 CET. The launch is scheduled for 9.31 Greenwich Mean Time, 10.31 CET, on March 14 with first acquisition of signal expected at around 21.29 Greenwich Mean Time, 2229 CET. The 2018 mission of the ExoMars program will deliver a European rover and a Russian surface platform to the surface of Mars.
a proton rocket will be used to launch the mission, which will arrive to Mars after a nine-month journey. The ExoMars rover will travel across the Martian surface to search for signs of life by collecting samples with a drill and analyzing them with next-generation instruments. ExoMars will be the first mission to combine the capability to move across the surface and to study Mars at depth.